And oh, oh my god. Oh, no wonder. Generic control in the deck goes. We're here back with some more Game 3 FNAF videos. Today we're doing the AI Uprising Security Breach Ruin. I don't know if this video came out before or after Ruin finally came out. Because I know the last video, you can check my reaction to that video. I'll leave it right up there. Also link down below in the description. Also to play this my channel with all my other Game Theory FNAF reactions. But the last video I think came out in the beginning of July. And I think Ruin came out at the end of July or beginning of August or something like that. So I don't know if this video came out before or after Ruin did. I still know absolutely nothing about Ruin just basically what Matt has been guessing Ruin has in it. I've still never played Security Breach. I played Sys Location in the first game. Uh, the first games on this channel, Security Breach, is linked down below in the description. My last birthday, I did that. I streamed it with my girlfriend. It was a crazy time. But I do read all your comments. So leave some down below. A lot of people are saying how much you enjoyed the FNAF movie. I really enjoyed it as well. And I cannot wait for the next one. We have a couple more videos to go. And then we'll, I guess, be completely caught up with the Game Theory FNAF. I just did my first Film Theory reaction with my best friend, Kirby on Saturday where we did the amazing digital circus hopefully people enjoy that video I enjoyed it because it's basically the same thing as the FNAF videos just not gaming it's about uh, a series which is cool but let's go ahead and jump into FNAF the AI uprising all right how many times we're gonna yawn this video I've been like yawning constantly after a year and a half in the making which means that I've only got today one final chance to solve security breach once and for all before ruin clarifies oh, everything. oh okay so this us. is or, the know, last video before layers of confusion on top so can I do it can I give you the theory that'll finally pull together everything and unite the probably not now minted fan base in time for the newest game release let's find probably not now now that that sounds almost impossible hello internet welcome to game theory and you heard that intro right the ruin DLC is finally out in fact it just oh, is up today as I upload this video oh, which is so kind of crazy to think about because it means that we've spent the better part of two years trying to solve one game and one game only security which is really but weird all that time has just been how often they're putting out games over and over again in Roxy Raceway we've had ourselves some help kinda since the release of security breach it's felt like the new tales of the pizzaplex books have been trying to offer us clues as to what the story of security breach was uh -huh. trying to be but those clues have been um challenging for the community to tiger heads and a victory and tiger rocks and dr rabbit the storyteller Edwin GGY the list has been huge and even if you follow every detail of every book it's still pretty darn confusing but finally also finally, with when the people are talking about Henry book, not Tiger being Rock, in everything the movie focus for me I think there I was a scene did. in it I think I finally understand the story that modern I might pause it just to explain been trying to tell us this entire time which you know is kind of a good thing because it'll put us all in the I'll same in the video. To theorize moving forward this theory I suspect but I'm the pretty sure they showed the Henry the thing that's in the movie help us all understand he was in the background. What the heck we're seeing throughout the new DLC and from this point forward in the franchise? And I suspect it all comes down to one topic: AI. No, obviously AI has been the buzzword Chat of 2023. GPT? Talking about yes, how it has. It this video came out three months ago. Jobs, concerns about the ethics of it. If you read an article online, there's a chance that it's been written by Chat GPT. See some cool by John GPT. That just won a competition. Turns out Dolly made it. Watch a cool YouTube video. Jeez, Matt Pat, you're using a lot of power. You wouldn't last Those one are... minute playing 2020 mode, which I totally beat on my first try by the way i've never understood those were produced by ai those pop up all the time and i'm just like i'm exactly so not interested AI. in this basically artificial intelligence is a machine i already see enough of those people like human you feed the machine a <laughs> bunch of presidents data, and the computer brain is able to learn from just, it it ingests uh, no. all that information and then makes decisions based on that data moving forward it actually closely parallels the way that we learn we also ingest data from our environment Ooh. and then use that data to make our decisions and just like with a human the more data that you're feeding into these things the more sophisticated and well-rounded the response has become and the more lifelike it seems well, i mean yeah reason you see there's a problem i'm sorry was that all of this. talking about the housing crisis about the data that you're feeding it if you aren't properly filtering the information that's being ingested making sure that it's factual and unbiased then bad things are going to start to happen if i put in a bunch of misinformation the responses Score i get fruit. back what? are just going to be wrong and that makes sense right the computer doesn't know any better it only knows what we tell it but things can actually get a lot worse Which than that people so are the same way a bunch of like you said opinions or biases smelly well, that's exactly what you're going to get back you're gonna get a dark reflection of that data and we saw that exact situation play out live in real time over on twitch last year back in December of 2022 uh -huh. one of the big trends was an AI generated show called nothing forever this show never was heard of it. parody the old comedy series Seinfeld 
world with its dialogue and assets Didn't all being watch, generated don't by like AI shows. in real time. Chat GPT for the scripts, Dolly, Stable Diffusion, a few others. And I gotta say, it was impressive. Not only was this thing a pretty darn accurate replica of the classic series, but it was also just cool to see how all these systems could work together to make something entirely brand new. But then one day, GPT-3 experienced outages, prompting the creators to switch over to a different AI chat system. Which one is... that was less filtered. One that was less sophisticated with its ingested data. And all what sudden, happened? jokes the AI was making in the show became harmful and abusive. Harmful? The started using slurs and making hateful jokes, Whoa! and the show got suspended from Twitch. Bad no wonder. data equals bad results. Yeah. So what does this all apply to FNAF? Well, each new Tales of the Pizza That's another reason why I just try to, into AI. In you know, mimic, we watch as Edwin, a close happiness to Henry and... from the games, makes an AI program to help entertain his son while he's away you know, at work. Good vibes, you know? We watch as that same Life's AI what you make of gets it. installed. It starts controlling the entirety of the pizza plex. In the epilogues, we watch as an AI program takes its ingested data too seriously, ripping the arms and legs off of people, wrongly assuming them to be robots. Bad data, yeah, well, again, yielding bad results. Not, and the not robots story, yet. the Monty Within, makes all of this Warhammer. crystal clear when a boy named Kane gives a presentation about the human Where's brain. Abel? He proposes that the left hemisphere of the brain is essentially like a computer, an AI within every person. What's the right that side? AI is then responsible for all the negative self-talk and flaws that human beings have. Quote oh. from the story, my point is that AI can only use what it's given. When the AI has bad data, it can turn into something that's harmful to itself and to the systems around it. That's the true. actual theory that this guy's spouting is a little bit out there in terms of realism, but the fact that he specifically calls it the AI within, it's no coincidence. The new villain of FNAF is Rogue I mean, AI, he could have worded it differently. And then unleashed, with us humans helplessly trying to disc. pick up the pieces too late and wow. getting ripped to shreds in the process. But obviously all that's just happening in the books. Nothing like this actually exists in the games, otherwise we'd be aware of it, right? Right? It has been Movie. there, and it's been under our noses the entire time. If you take this knowledge of AI from the books and start to take a look back through the games, you can see Scott sowing the seeds for these ideas Did as he? far back as help wanted. In fact, okay. I actually called this very plot twist four years ago. But again, Was that four years ago? William would be missing a huge chunk of this game's story. This isn't That's William. actually it's crazy no how long I've been... Replicating the how many years I've covered while reacting to these. Here, and only like a little over a year. All the way back to FNAF VR Check out the Fin 30 video I did on Sunday with Best Friend. I remember this now, but when the happy waving bunny virus first filled our screens, there was a lot of confusion about what exactly he was. Was this the spirit of Afton manifesting within the code, or was he just a digital copy of a copy Afton? Of a copy of a copy of a copy. They sent us that stuff in the first place with no explanation, told us to scan it. It was just junk, circuit boards, and things like that. Look, uh -huh. old. Somehow, though, there was usable code on some of it. He's Afton, scanned into the system off of circuit boards, but how exactly? Afton is and was always still a human. Why would his essence be on a circuit board? Back then, possession was and what we're we gonna do, like Dr. Zola? Is that what we're parts. doing? And so, for a long time, we just collectively settled on the idea that Afton had somehow managed to escape his purgatory of ultimate custom night by attaching a piece of his soul to a circuit board that was buried in the springlock suit that he was wearing. That circuit board then got scanned during the events of FNAF VR and AR, creating Glitch Trap, a virus that would then spread throughout the entire system. Glitch Trap is just a failsafe. The series moved on, and we all moved on with it. But I would be lying if I said that this was the cleanest solution out there. The solution implied that Fazbear Entertainment How would he went do to that? burn down FNAF 6 Pizzeria, found the Springlock suit with Afton's dead body still inside, and then just, you know, took out the circuit board to use. Somehow I'm not convinced that the workers would have been happy to continue their job when they pry open a suit and discover yeah, the remains of the company's explain, founder inside. Having to explain yeah, that, that Jack in the movie theater was because kind of funny. Point, that was largely the rules of the series. Jack is my girlfriend, in case she painted not the that. Sci -fi. It was possessions and Very ghosts, talented. not rogue AI and technology on the fritz. Or at least, we didn't think the series was about that yet. But we were wrong. No, no. In Snap World, take a look at the world map for me. I can't Messy, wait for right? the, uh, so the AI devil and together Chainsaw with no Man. Transition between the lands. It's complicated with all these twisting pathways that have no rhyme or reason to them. And then also, just on a basic level, why is it so zoomed out like this? Say what you will about Scott Cawthon's game programming, but he should know enough to make a better, more usable map than this thing, right? Well, that's because it's is not a circuit map. board. It's a diagram. It's a blueprint. Oh. A blueprint of the human brain. But it's not I blue. Know that sounds absolutely insane, but just take a look at this map. And now, take a look at this map. This map. Oh my god, brain. the stem. Notice all the parallels. And here. oh, oh my right god. In the middle where Pinwheel Funhouse is, Deep Metal Mine and Black Tomb Yard. Two smaller, rounded areas in the back matching the cerebellum and the occipital lobe. Two smaller, oh. rounded lobes in the back of the brain. Even the twisting nature but of the why is the frontal 
globe so much small. act exactly like the brain. Our brain is full of wrinkles, the gyri or curves, and oh. the sulci or grooves. My it's brain's pretty that smooth. So we have as much or, that's what the comments say. There is possible, which allows for more neuronal connections to happen, thereby making us smarter. And that's exactly what we're seeing here in this FNAF world map. That's also why it stays zoomed out the entire time. Because so it's supposed to look like a select. brain. We can understand what Scott was actually going for. That white blob in that's front, cool. either an eyeball or the frontal lobe. This, I suspect, was Afton's earliest experimentation with AI, with turning a robot brain into something truly intelligent to try and put things back that's together like sick. he promised his dying son. Back then, we weren't looking for clues to humanoid robots, but now, going back to the series and looking forward, we see those Also, I might be playing Genshin everywhere. Impact for the very first time on Friday. I might stream that. Afton literally has human heads sitting Blinking. there on the desk. Yeah, Blinking, just chilling. In plain sight right in the lobby. He was trying to Don't like that people. game. He was experimenting with creating artificial intelligence. Either he or Henry, maybe even both of them, created an AI program to speed up the programming process, to learn the way that a human learns, to copy and bring new life to their dead children. By observing mm. Afton, by copying him, the program was basically able to act as a second brain inputting bad data got them bad results and we wound up with glitch trap there's also and another then related it possibility just gets worse here. from In the books, there the genius inventor edwin parallel to the game timelines henry creates the mimic program to entertain a small child giving it a rudimentary body so it can play and learn from the small boy eventually his child dies and edwin abandons everything in his grief including this mimic program fazbear entertainment rolls in to collect what was their property stolen. and doing so collects the mimic but I not before stolen, it kills but... a number of their employees in true fazbear fashion that doesn't really stop them instead they collect the parts repurpose them including the circuit boards in for order some to create, reason quote new scenarios for vr ar and arcade games which is exactly what we see happening throughout fnaf vr and ar old circuit boards of the original games made by a rogue indie developer getting scanned into the system child murder and all and from that hmm. data the system spits out glitch trap bad data again yielded bad results the mimic basically got itself a crash course in afton the ai is and it decided to become based on his actions leading to it manifesting as a man in a rabbit suit. Either way, whether the mimic program was built by Glitch Trap as AI, that's AI a really odd incarnate. theory. Of training, it's time for all of us to start training so we can change the course of history. Theorizing about the battle between good and evil in fictional worlds is fun and all, but have you ever thought about those what if scenarios happening in real world battles? Like what? what if the Romans had never conquered Egypt? Uh, what if Britain Empire. hadn't conquered like literally everyone? everything? Well, I suppose not everyone. everyone. <laughs> we did it. Regardless, and now look at what we did. Sponsor, Rise of Kingdoms, wow, they're getting like your a mid video. History. Rise of Kingdoms there's music. Historical there's music playing. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't like skipping ads. I don't skip them if there's no. The elephant if there's no the music. Room, or I suppose the elephant down in the basement, crispy boy. Bart. I've done other MatPat videos. The security breach and the music the most got copyright claimed the moment the video went live. We all collectively rolled our eyes and uttered his catchphrase, I always come back, thinking, yeah, mm. but did you really have to? It just raised more did questions really than it answered. To? Like, how are you still alive? Was Henry wrong about Remnant being destroyed at high temperatures? Did after Dude, they paid a to escape bag for that. It was nearly impossible to say. We had a few that. ideas that involved Vanessa repurposing glam rock bond his endoskeleton but now I they probably got paid more for that and again that, that ad segment than i make in a year AI concept probably the best and scariest part of security breach was the utility tunnels a bunch of narrow passageways full of endoskeletons that only attack when you're looking at them mm, but only area, attack when you're yeah when you're not looking at them i'm about to say posters all meant to teach the glam rock endoskeleton i hate it 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 how to play nicely with other kids how to not scare a girl in a bed that has a bedspread and lamp of the fnaf 4 in a hospital Hospital bed. That's, That's a really hospital bed. bed. Yeah. A hospital bed. Oh, that feels like it has huge implications for the lore of FNAF 4. Anyway, that is not my focus right now. The point is, the endoskeletons down there in the basement, they're being trained up. They're being taught. They're being educated one by one. Data That's so is being spooky. ingested by their systems. My suspicion is that whoever's doing the training down there, they're trying to find the right mix of data, the right combination of inputs to get the desired output. But what would that desired output be? Afton. You see, these robots have clearly been tampered they're with. They're trying to clone. Him. You see one poster where the robot is being taught not to knock over the cake, but then the uh, X has been crossed off and replaced with a, with a check. check. It's like, yes, yes that's what you should do. do. That is that good thing. Behavior. When you see a hurt child, don't help them. But as don't one last reveal them. for the section of Point the game, in laugh. the big final room, we see an endoskeleton wearing purple bunny ears and another purple rabbit behind him. Who's that waiting, right there just is like Vanny, messing around with the new mimic line of glam rock endoskeletons. It literally reveals her plan to turn one of them into the new Afton. She's finding the Why not all of them? To 
create an army of evil Afton bots. She's looking for the data that produces her bad results. And that, ultimately, is what Burn Trap is. The body of Afton with the mind of a mimic. The epilogues of the new book series take That's place in the Snap location under the Pizzaplex as it's being built. A new shipment of animatronics arrive, but one of these is unlike the others, looking burnt and mangled. Since they can't put this burned one up on stage with all the other new animatronics, one of the workers decides to program it to tear the heads and arms off of the junk endoskeletons that are just lying around. Okay, that sounds evil. Wrong, though, when the little robo decides to take his programming a bit too seriously. He starts ripping the heads and arms off of anything that looks humanoid. Oh, nice. Construction workers and later a group of teens hey, who sneak their way in the facility. Your hard hat should help you with that. Teens that this thing is also running a version of the mimic program. And of course it, it likes is. to wear costumes. It's also Why? physically able to contort itself into any animatronic costume or shell that it needs oh. to, expanding and contracting to fit any space or shape that it needs. Even if that That's space cool. is a human body. Quote, in a nanosecond, one of the mimic's spidery a legs nanosec reached out and peeled open the back of the blue dog costume. The instant the costume was breached, the mimic wormed its way past the edges of the matted blue fur. Shockingly, the mimic shoved itself inside the costume with Kelly. Lucia heard a sickening crunch. So oh. hold on a minute. A mimic in the ruins of the FNAF 6 pizzeria that likes wearing old costumes, even if there's already a human body inside? That right it, there, It's just that like, oh, I must trap. occupy That's why it. see what are essentially new glam rock animatronic parts entwined with the old fleshy parts of Afton. It's not that Vanessa rebuilt the body and just decided that they make for good decoration. The mimic is literally contorting itself to fit uh. in with what remains of Afton inside of his existing suit. So feed so, an AI program a bunch of data about a serial killer and boom, you get yourself a serial killer. But feed an AI too uh, much data or data that conflicts, things start to get messy be? in a hurry. Enter Tiger Rock. In the books, AI is represented by two main creatures. One is obviously the mimic that's roaming around in the basement like we just talked the, about. But the other is another version of the mimic program. Which is the Tiger, tiger. Rock, An AI that's in charge of the pizza plex. A tiger oh. that very specifically has mismatched really blue cool. and green eyes. A very literal way of showcasing the two clashing forces that are operating inside of it. But what exactly very are true. those conflicting forces? The book never makes is it clear. In one of them. Theory, I spoke a lot about how Edward and Elizabeth David are stand-ins for characters from the game timeline. One of the creators of Fazbear Entertainment, Henry, and his young daughter, Charlie. In the book, the mimic was built to copy David. And so presumably in the game, the if the mimic's there, it would also be designed to potentially copy Charlie, who was sadly killed by William and goes on to possess the puppet. Ugh. And wouldn't you know it, just like the David AI taking control of the pizza plex in the book, that's why we're seeing puppet imagery weirdly mm. spaced throughout the game. In puppet Get out of here. Wires, weirdly Get out of here. Plushies, painted staff bots. It's an AI that's taken over the operation of the pizza plex, infusing itself into the very wires of the building. That's why both the books and the game have conversations written in weird, mysterious, shape-based letters. It shows us that the mimic you know, program computers, Edwin's son, the, the entity controlling the pizza plex, the puppet, Charlie, and Henry are all connected. But while I'm absolutely convinced that Charlie exists in the wires of the pizza plex, one thing that I haven't been able to answer yet is why all the imagery is evil. We're not seeing plushies of the marionette. We're seeing plushies yeah. of the nightmare puppet all over the pizza Don't plex. Don't like it. I hate it, actually. Version of the Just character. not I zoom in. This character is not evil. If anything, this character is pure good. Is it because yeah, I... it's vindictive? What are you with that? Maybe it's angry that it's been summoned again to have to protect another generation of kids. I'm so, angry you're on the screen right now. In my last theory, I suspected that it had to do with Afton being mixed in with the puppet program. So you have these two competing codes, these two competing forces having to share one space, one body, for lack of a better word. And I think that I was really close on that one, but still not quite right. Think about it. Tiger Rock is very clearly meant to have a green eye and a blue uh, yeah. eye. Green and blue. Was Charlie that good? and Elizabeth, the puppet there we and go. baby. The protection of the puppet mixed with the violence and anger <laughs> of Elizabeth. Throughout the books, Tiger Rock is depicted as having a duality about him. He's good well, there, and there's a duality and right there. suddenly he turns sinister and threatening. There's this moment in one of his stories where he literally helps a kid like, quote, a puppet on a string. Doesn't get much more explicit than that. And yet later that same story, he just rolls up and rips the kid's arms clean Nice. Off. No joke, that is how the story ends. It is very bizarre and dark. Do I have a lot of evidence to suggest that Elizabeth might be mixed in there? Yeah, I mean, the eyes. I mean, with the green Outside eyes. Of baby's iconic blue eyes. We also have ourselves years of book canon establishing that Elizabeth and Charlie are often revealed to share the same body, most explicitly with the fourth closet novel. We also have this weird moment in the main Tiger Rock story where he takes the form of a white clock face. This moment comes what? out of nowhere.
everywhere and is unlike anything else in the story, but where have we seen that sort of thing before? Sister Location and the white baby-faced clock. Let's just call it a theorist mm, hunch. Mm, I suspect don't like that, it. that is why both the puppet and baby are deactivated when we see their masks in the blob. Because the actual AI code, they're... their spirits, whatever you want to call them, they're off elsewhere. They're in a separate AI entity, the wires of the building. But speaking of the blob, the AI theory also solves that one too. Uh, so that Daddy right AI there might be a little bit of a reach. And the AI trained on the two warring daughters is fighting for control up in the pizza plex itself. What about the blob then? Well, the blob is just everything else. It's the mixed data. It's, it's the just... AI when you feed it too much information. When you it's open everything. the entirety of the internet to chat GPT. A confusing mess of wires and information and a lot of angry people. As Glamrock Freddy yeah. says, Yeah, friends are here. Take a look at this description for the mimic from one of the book's epilogues. Quote, creeping out the back of the overalls clad mushroom was an abomination clad of twisted mushroom. and contorted metal. A mass of metal joints with wires, with one of its eyes on one leg and the other on its back. One of the Why? legs extended from where its mouth should have been. Unlike the mimic's footfalls when it was upright, this configuration of the mimic's parts made a tsk tsk sound. A sloppy ticking that was at the same time squelching wet and dryly brittle. End quote. There is Ew. only one creature that's still around in the series that matches that description. The Blob. What? That's right. I'm oh. telling you that I think the Blob, this confusing, weirdly designed mess that we found in the basement of the security breach, is, is actually like one not final activated? version of the Mimic. Just listen to the sounds that it makes. Maybe it's hungry for knowledge. Its appearance and the sounds that it make match how you it's know? described in the book almost word for word. A twisted body. An AI a wants to learn as much as possible, suits, right? Expand and contract. A mass of twisted and contorted metal parts, wet yet dry sounding movement. It is absolutely him. There's even some in game evidence to suggest that this is more than just speculation. The Faz Watch tells us that a huge amount of power goes down to the basement. Why? Thought that it was meant to keep Burn Trap's body alive. But what no. if instead it's to keep it's, I don't think his body's alive. alive. In the books, whenever the mimic appears, the lights tend to flicker and go out as it draws power from anything around it that also means the ending then, somehow the scoops up afton it's just him we got wireless data energy now data. it's all the data coming together getting mixed up getting more complicated inside that freddy spaghetti it's a mimic spaghetti and, as i discussed in a previous theory it's also why i suspect that gregory is not who he that says was the last video the i think trailer it's the mimic still an ai now trained by watching gregory's behavior throughout security breach hearing gregory's voice talking to freddy bit by bit this ai is absorbing everything around it learning from it assimilating I Dangerous. And we'll see how that ultimately plays out in Ruin. Or, you Which know, maybe I'm completely apparently came out today. So I don't know. He could be, be wrong, right. could be right. I don't the know. The game is out today. Literally I've today as this one's never uploaded. Never played I'm Scary sure Breach. probably scrambling to get through it as quickly as possible I'm to not. see whether I got anything right. Literally. I look forward to next video, though, though to see if you got it right. Right now over on GT Live. Tom and I are probably playing through the game as we speak. So please keep an eye out on GT Live for all those uploads coming Give soon. Give me your soul, Minecraft Legends. Or is not going to be fine in itself. Happy hunting, dear theorists. Fingers crossed that I'm not completely completely disproven in the opening minute of the game and that, that, the that would be hilarious no man. dude do we actually get music yeah, man always, my friends remember there's no way a, theory. a game theory thanks for watching does music man make an appearance in ruin i don't know the next video is going to be fnaf buried and forgotten security breach ruin it's obviously going to be the first video after ruin comes out so it's going to be interesting but like i said about henry emily being in the fnaf movie um there was a scene, um, this is going to be spoilers for the movie, by the way. Um, so, the there was a scene where you put the tape, where you put the tape in. On night one, he put the tape in. Actually, I don't know if this has that many spoilers in it. Actually, it shouldn't have any spoilers, because you kind of know how it's going to go. He put the tape in, and they took him, like, on a tour. The lady, like, take him a tour of, like, what Freddy Fazbear's used to be. And, like, was talking about, oh... Like, showing all the kids and all the animatronics. And it took them, like, into the back side area where they talked about the robotics and, like, the high-tech robotics. There's a guy in the background that looks like he's wearing, like, the Henry Emily that we see. Like, the, the plaid and the overalls and, like, the glasses and, like, the beard. Like, literally, it looks just like him working on an animatronic skeleton in the background. I'm not sure if it's maybe just my memory filling in what he looked like, but I remember watching the movie. I see him in the background and freaking out instantly, like, oh my god, that's Henry. So, a lot of people said they, that wasn't him. I don't know if he was. People said he wasn't in it. I don't know if they caught that. I, ha I have no idea. I could be wrong. I could be right. I'm not really sure. I just remember that I definitely thought for sure that, that was Henry Emily in the background of that scene. But I'll be streaming today. I should be streaming Genshin Impact on Friday, hopefully for the very first time. That's going to be a lot of fun. No idea what to expect. But come back for the next video. will be out next Wednesday. Uh, patrons get a day early. I hope you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos. But until next video, take care and keep the music.
your place.